Hey everyone, it's Matt here. How's it going everybody? This is your friend Will. I hope everything's going great with you. If it's not going great, I hope it will get better and better and better. And uh, this is just for kicks, uh, just to get your attention. Hopefully I still have your attention. Quick pause right here. Are you a passionate software developer looking to hustle and advance your career in the tech industry? Then you should subscribe to this YouTube channel for all of the latest tips, insights, and advice in the tech industry. But anyways, Matthew, let's get started right now. Now, if you watched our project management as a career path video, you may remember we had even more to say at the end. We had a few more important tips prepared to help you become an even better project manager. Now, these are the tips and advice we've got from some of the experienced project managers in the industry. And we'd like to pass them on to you and hopefully they can be useful. And please let us know what you think about it. But Matthew, let's get started. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to be familiar with the software tools to help you manage projects. Now there's a lot of uh, different tools out there. Like for example, you can use Asana, Jira, Trello, for example. Now in these days, if you're practicing agile methodologies, you have to familiarize yourself with a lot of different concepts such as Epic, right? What is an Epic is a very long task and uh, a spike story, something that just recently popped up that you don't, you're uncertain how long it will take for you to resolve the issue. Because when you actually are developing a product uh, you, and you set a particular timeline, uh, an objective, we'll talk about that later, there's different complexity that it's involved. Sometimes it's human, sometimes it's related to the technology. And in order to manage that complexity, these com concepts are then invented, right? We're, there's the sprint planning session. There's the reason why there's a daily scrum, right? And having these tools can really help you manage that complexity. So definitely try to delve into what's popular in the market right now. And it'd be also a good idea to pick up several of them because they're all very similar. Of course, as a project manager, it's also a good idea to get your certifications, like for example, the PMP or maybe a certified Scrum Master certification and other certifications if you haven't already, because these will teach you these technical skills and they will also set you apart on your resume as well. Now we're now saying that you must have a PMP to be qualified as a project manager. However, Let's say if the employer is looking at two resumes, right? One of them got five years of experience in project management. The other of them has got five, or five years of experience in product management. The employer may think, wait, are these two the same resumes? No, they're not. Because one of them has PMP on it. And guess which person he will hire? The one without the PMP. No, that's not possible. Actually, the person with PMP. So you don't want to be the person that got picked second because there's only one opportunity. Okay, so get getting that PMP designation, which is an all-time classic designation, a certification to get as a product manager, will definitely prevent yourself from being that part of the situation. And it will also help you get more visibility on say LinkedIn if you put that beside your name, which you can't because it's a professional designation. If you want to be a project manager or you want to become a better project manager, it's a good idea to hang out with other project managers, become friends with other project managers and absorb knowledge from other project managers. Warren Buffett once said, I forgot what he said, but somewhere along the line though, hey, if you want to be successful, you better surround yourself with positive and like-minded people. The same principle can be applied here. If you want to develop a solid career in project management, it's a good idea to network with other project managers. Find yourself a mentor, right? Ask him for advice and ask him to shine some light on you, right? Once you accumulate enough experience and knowledge, you pass that on to the younger mentee. Is that the right word? Yeah, right, mentee. You gotta pass on that knowledge. This will help you assert yourself as a proper, experienced, ethical project manager. 
it will also help you to get more opportunities. It will open more do doors. We're talking about more visibility from other executive members at a company. So definitely keep those things in mind. And lastly, you should set what we like to call smart objectives, which means you want them to be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based. I think as a product manager, the most critical part of the task, and this is, you can have your own opinion, but in my personal opinion, is to set goals or objectives, right? You set, you have an objective for the whole year, and then you have monthly objectives, right? And let's look at these five different aspects. Your objective has to be specific. It can't just be like, oh, I want to do great things. I want to make the company successful, right? It, have to, it has to be quantifiable, right? And then hence the second aspect of it, it has to be measurable, right? You have to be able to quantify and measure it. Are we ahead or behind the schedule? How much are we from truly succeeding at our expectation? Only then you can communicate with the management team and uh, you know, propel the business forward. It has to be realistic and achievable, right? Your weekly goal can't derail from your monthly objective and it can't be derailed from your uh, annual or year, yearly objective. And last but not least, it has to be time-based, right? You can't just set goals without setting a specific timeline. So focus on these five different aspects when you set objective slash goals. Anyways, I think that's quite a lot of information. I can understand if you're getting a little bit tired of me just mumbling. And I feel like we've shared enough advice today, Matthew. So there you have it. Do you find these tips useful in improving your skills as a project manager or entering the project management field? Feel free to let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more content. And yeah, if you are an experienced project manager, Please shine some light on us and let us know what important aspects of being a product manager did we miss. Otherwise, please stay safe and see you next time. Pow!